What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dollar Mike, aka Michael Mitchell, back at it again with a Robinhood dividend portfolio investment. You know the deal. Update for July 2020. Today is June 30th, 2020, but nothing is changing, at least in my Robinhood portfolio from today to tomorrow, which is July 1st. So here we are with the July portfolio update for Robinhood. So not gonna waste your time trying to make it real smooth and i'm also trying to be on time this month instead of about a week and a half late so let's just get right into the video let's go and we are live let's do what we gotta do and go ahead and open up that robin hood app get that face id going in and let's do it so as you can see my portfolio was near six thousand dollars last time we checked in which was the beginning of june for the most part or about oh, for about a week and a half in june maybe like a week in june it was near six thousand dollars the market was just booming and it definitely uh corrected itself because it was it had no business being near six thousand dollars at the time because i earned at least in one week i had about i think i was up maybe like six or seven hundred dollars in a single week which was a little bit ridiculous and I really didn't understand, especially the state of the economy right now. It really didn't make sense. So basically, the market corrected itself. Um, I went from about 5,900 down to about 5,100, and then back up to today, which is actually a pretty good day for me. Or yesterday was. And today's, uh, you can see what today is. Yesterday was. Um, I was up about $200 yesterday. Today I'm down about 18. But overall, $5,547.17 is my portfolio for today june 30th 2020 but obviously this is the july update you know this i'm not gonna keep saying it regardless today i am down 18 dollars 41 cents after hours is up about three cents so essentially nothing um one week i'm down about 28 dollars one month i'm down oh one month excuse me down one month i'm up 242 dollars about five percent three months i'm up 1046 dollars about 23 percent and not really a year obviously it says one year at the bottom but not a year because i haven't been doing this for a year but about three and a half months almost four months i'm up one thousand four hundred thirty dollars and then overall since i've kind of just had my robin hood account which has been about a couple years but you know i didn't really start taking it seriously until about five six months ago one thousand four hundred and four dollars and 85 cents so that's about it i got ten dollars in buying power you can see some news right here but you know you're not really here for that you're here for the stocks that i got and we're gonna get into them right about now so as you can see maybe you can if you watch previous episodes you probably can tell i reorganized them slightly i haven't really gotten around to doing all of them yet because i have a lot of stocks i think i have almost over 50 stocks if not over 50 stocks but i try to reorganize them a little bit and let's just get right into them so also, the thing to note, I am investing $100 every single week. So that $100 goes into Robinhood. And then I kind of just split it up. I try to, you know, I could invest like $100 into one single stock, but I try to split it up, try to cover as much as I cover as much ground as I can. So here I am doing that. Like I said before, $100 a week. So $400 a month going into Robinhood. That's all. That's it. 100%. That's all I'm putting in there for the time being. I'll let you know if I change it, but for the time being, that's what it is. So first up is Nintendo. As always, Nintendo, you know, doing well for itself. I don't think I bought any extra shares from last time. So 4.29 shares overall up $40 with it. 4% portfolio diversity. And if you look at the portfolio diversity, that's what I'm really going for now. I really want to have a solid portfolio diversity on almost all the stocks I have because I don't want to have too much money in one single area. As you can see, once we get down to Boeing, you'll notice that I'll have about 16 or 17% of portfolio diversity. So that means Boeing makes up about 17% of my portfolio. And I don't want that. If any single stock makes up any part of my portfolio, I want it to be max 10%. And that's still kind of high, but yeah. So there we go. Nintendo 5590 right now. I have about 4.9, 4.29 shares. Average cost $46. So you can see I got in pretty solid and up $40 overall. The next one up is Microsoft. I need to get more shares of Microsoft. Like I said, every time I try to go and buy Microsoft, it just keeps going higher and higher. So I definitely need to get in. I don't even own one whole share yet. I don't even own half a share. But regardless, I'm up $11 with it. And that's about that. You know power shares, basically the high dividend, low volatility. You know what they're all about. So obviously I've been investing in them since I've been since the jump, essentially. And I have almost 10 shares or a little bit over 10 shares now and up $21 overall, 6% portfolio diversity, so it's pretty solid, and I'm still gonna continue to invest in them as well as everything else. Uh, roundhouse betting, this might be a new one. I don't know if this was on the last one, but I don't think it was. Bets, or B-E-T-Z, is essentially sports betting, so it's an ETF for sports betting, so everything regarding sports betting is all covered into one single stock because I wanna invest in it, but I don't wanna buy four different stocks. So here I am investing in the ETF. It probably actually won't pay out a dividend ever, but, but, 
I should expect a solid gain from it maybe five, 10 years from now. Who knows? So that's what I'm hoping for. Overall up $2.54 with it, and I have over seven shares. My, not, I don't know why I said Microsoft. Prospect Capital, same thing going on here. It's not it's not betting or anything like that, but essentially it is a group of stocks. It's an ETF. I got 10 shares of it. Overall up $9.57, so pretty solid there. And I got in pretty early on that, I believe. Yeah, 422 is 5 It's solid enough. Uh, medical Properties Trust. So as I try to tell you guys, I try to reorganize these things. So Medical Properties Trust is, of course, real estate. It is real estate, I believe, for Alabama. Yes, Alabama. Um, I have I have my reasons for that, my personal reasons. But overall, up $14 since I invested. I still think it's a good investment. Still will be buying more overall. And I have um, got dividend coming in, of course, too. And five shares. So a little bit over five shares with them. Chatham Lodging Trust, more real estate, over seven shares with them, overall down $1.61. I still have high hopes for them. Real estate in Florida, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it plays out, but I'll be buying more, no question there. Realty, in, realty income, O oh, for short, up $24. I've seen this plenty of times on YouTube and I just figured I had to invest in it. I've been investing in it ten, since the jump for the most part. And, you know, my, obviously my videos can't give you everything but i mean they give you enough so regardless overall up 24 dollars three shares total a little bit more than that but you get the point it's definitely a good investment cinemark so you know the theaters are actually just starting to open back up in some places i think here my theater in maryland opens back up with my cinemark that i usually go to opens back up on july 24th so we'll see how this stock does but i got in pretty early and i've been averaging up so only up 70 cents. I was up like $20 at one point, but it just dropped a little bit. But I'm not worried about it all. I generally like Cinemark, and I definitely will be investing in Cinemark more. And they still paying the dividends, so I have no issue with it. 6.2 shares. Nothing wrong with Cinemark. I personally like it. If you don't, you don't. It is what it is. Movie theaters, air, airlines. It depends on what you want to invest in. I can't tell you what to invest in. I'm just telling you what I invest in. You can use that as a suggestion. It's all up to you. Sirius XM is next up, and these are all free shares. Um, I didn't pay anything for these. As you can see, average cost $0. Free shares from you guys. Thank you very much. Um, up $23, four shares. That's simple. Boeing, like I mentioned before. So Boeing, my portfolio diversity real quick is 16.53%. I want that to be lower. So essentially, I'm not going to buy any more Boeing like I haven't. I haven't bought any Boeing since I made this Robinhood account, this brand new one. And five shares of it. Overall up $415. It was more, but Boeing took a nice little drop over about the last two weeks. So yeah, but I'm not worried about that at all. No big deal. Uh, AT&T, obviously a great dividend stock to be invested in. Overall up $10, a little bit over three shares, 3.7. And there's nothing really wrong with that. AT&T, I'm just going to be, be buying more. It's nothing wrong with that at all. Coca-Cola, nothing wrong with that at all as well. Same thing goes. Overall up $18. Yes, I was up before I even checked. I actually saw that before I even checked. So, you know, sidekick, obviously. Regardless, got a dividend coming in, a little bit over three shares. It's solid stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Coca-Cola, come on. Can't argue with Coca-Cola. Waste management. So waste management, I've been trying to average up with that, trying to get more. I think a good price to get in at this stock is honestly like $100. It can go more, you know, it's waste management. They take out, they, they handle your trash. Like it, it's a solid stock. There's nothing wrong with it. They pay a solid dividend. Um, That's a little, yeah, overall up a dollar with it. And that's about it. Yeah, only have about a little bit under half a share. So I'll get more over time. You know, the wave, you know, the vibes. Barrett Gold up, definitely up $11.56. A little bit over two and a half shares and one percent portfolio diversity i could have got more gold but like i said before gold kind of depends the price of gold and all this kind of stuff and money all depends on how the economy really is right now it's obviously up because the economy isn't in the best place possible so the value of the dollar isn't really it's worth as is worth as much as it could be and with more stimulus checks it could be worth even less so you know it all really depends gold i could buy more might not, probably won't, not entirely sure. I'll just keep what I got and see how it goes. Pfizer, you guys know what Pfizer is. They handle a whole bunch of different products. Overall up $11.67, five shares, a little bit over five shares actually. And it's solid, nothing wrong there, but you know, it's cool stuff. Bank of America, my bank, they're all right, they're all right, but whatever. They're not my favorite bank, but they're, I mean, it's Bank of America, you know. And they pay a solid dividend regardless, only have 1.21 shares and $2.38 up total key bank they just pay a solid dividend for real i have no i mean i have knowledge of key bank but i don't personally use key bank myself three shares overall up six dollars and 77 cents can't say much there ally financial probably my favorite bank that i know of personally or that i use personally right now ally bank 
um two shares we'll be buying more for sure we'll probably be buying more of all these maybe not key bank but probably the other ones key bank just pays, pays a good dividend and they could be they could be going up soon regardless ally i'm up nine dollars which is solid i think they just they had like some type of deal with something i saw it but i can't remember the news article i probably put it on screen um if i remember to do so but yeah up nine dollars it's it's good stuff you know nothing wrong with key bank i mean I, nothing wrong with ally bank at all highly recommend them so yeah above you know I want this to do well. I want this to hit like $5. You guys just don't know. They handle the Corona beers, you know what I'm saying? 20 shares with them. I just want them to hit like $5. I don't think they're going to pay out their dividend, but I have to do more research and find out. Overall up $7.59. Nothing wrong with them at all. I got in pretty dang early, so, you know, hoping to hit for them to hit like $5. I'm probably going to go and sell that. But if they don't, you know, I'll hang on. You know, they'll pay that dividend. We'll see. We'll see how things go. We'll see how things play out. Helen Burton, you guys, I talked about this one last last time. It's basically oil, 10 shares, up $69. Great investment. I got in super early at $6.33. It's now at $12. Where did I get nine from? $12.98. And it's solid. I have no issues with this. I actually got one for free, and then I bought nine more. You probably remember that if you've seen some of the older videos. But if you haven't, that's what happened. So, you know. Center Point Energy, I think I'm overall up with them. Yes, I'm up $10, three shares. I still need to do more research on Center Point Energy. I probably will be buying more, but I just don't know enough to buy more. So I'm not going to for the time being. Southern, they handle a whole bunch of different products, up 65 cents. These are kind of safe bets. So, like, if the economy was to go down or if, you know, the economy was to essentially crash again, stock market would essentially crash again, these are the type of stocks like Southern and a couple others I'm going to show you in the future um won't really budge that much they will but they won't budge as much as something like um like a tech company that may drop like 40 dollars or something in a day or something like that all really depends but one share 1.1 shares actually total and that's about that and like i said before i'm up 65 cents with them cvs um overall only have one share up 11 dollars with that just one share so that's definitely a solid i should have bought more when I bought CVS, but I just don't think I had the money. So can't really go wrong with that. You know, if you don't have the money, you can't really buy it. You know, it is what it is. Dime Brands, you know, they handle, um, I believe they handle Applebee's and IHOP. Overall up $21 with them. Two shares. Haven't bought more since I bought them originally, but you know, solid stuff. I mean, I'll take the solid return. Nothing wrong with that. I don't know if they're going to pay out that dividend, but I'll take the solid return. So, yeah, it is what it is. Haynes Brands, you guys know Haynes Brands. They cover different brands, but I mean, most people know them for underwear. Three shares up seven dollars and eighty-one cents. Nothing changing there. No time soon. Exxon. Actually, if you have an Apple card right now, you'll get three percent back. A three Apple credit card. You'll get three percent back if you use your Apple credit card at Exxon gas stations. That just happened like today or yesterday. So just letting you guys know, just a heads up. But anyway, Exxon, four point six shares. Uh, overall up twenty-three dollars. So solid bet. And they pay out a solid dividend for sure. They always did. So nothing wrong there. Same thing with Shell. Not the 3% back with the Apple Card, but they pay out a solid dividend. Three shares, overall down 45 cents, which is essentially nothing. So probably definitely will be buying more. It's probably a good time to buy. And yeah, I mean, I don't see. Let me check. Eh, we'll see. Regardless, I'll probably buy more Shell. You know, dividends, it, they pay out. So it's all right. Verizon, always a good buy, I feel like. Overall up $3.00. 1.27 shares probably will be buying more i see no issue with that 5g is coming remember that 5g is coming and i have 5g stocks on here to be ready for 5g and i'll mention them when i get to them as well so western digital i actually bought a little bit more western digital just because i had like an extra seven dollars laying around i was like let me just toss this in western digital um 2.16 shares they pay out a solid dividend for sure i believe it's like 50 or 60 cents per share which is definitely pretty good um overall up two dollars and 84 cents nothing crazy but you know dividends if you want the dividends there you go there, there's the dividends dunkin brands you know they handle dunkin donuts only have one share over up 12 dollars with them i wish i bought more when i could but couldn't because i'm don't have the money so you know it is what it is cedar fair they handle amusement parks you know the, all the good stuff one i wish i could go to the amusement park too bro like, y'all really don't understand like i think they're opening actually next month i might just risk it and go but I just, I just i just love roller coasters i don't know about you drop it down in the comment section you like roller coasters but i just need i need i need that thrill you know that rush so Overall, one share, up 62 cents total. Nothing crazy here, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's all right. Emerson, they cover a whole bunch of different brands. Overall, up $22, 2.06 shares. Marathon Oil, I got this one for free. As you can see, it's only one share of it anyway. Average cost $0, $6 because that's how much it's worth. So nothing really to say here. I might just go ahead and sell it only because I got one share. And I don't really plan on buying more, so I probably end up just going ahead to sell this one 
maybe now, maybe not. Eh, I'll, I'll hold because the market's closed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Disney, Disney, you know, Disney is always a solid investment. Overall, up $6, have 1.25 shares, should have more, probably will get more over time. You can't go wrong with Disney. They own everything. They own Marvel. They have Lucas, Lucas, Lucas Arts, Lucas Films. They have uh, National Geographic. They have, what else do they have? I think they own like part of Hulu. I think they also own part of like ESPN or is that just like a package they have? I think it's like a package deal. I don't know if they really own part of ESPN. ESPN. But regardless, Disney owns a lot of stuff and they also have their parks and they also have their merchandise and they just have brand recognition. They're Disney. Who doesn't know Disney? You can be born today and still know of Disney, you know? You can't really get away from it. So always a good buy and they're going to always pay a solid dividend for the most part. So next up is Apple only have 0.11 shares apple was killing the game i don't know why it's jumping like this because i mean really we haven't got any crazy news about any products coming soon but i mean we did get wwdc and they did announce like tons of good stuff there they show that they're the macbooks are stepping away from the old intel architecture when it comes to their chips and they're moving on to the arm architecture which is supposed to be better more powerful laptops more powerful pc or not pcs more powerful macs coming soon transition period about two years so honestly apple could be like a solid 500 dollars stock in five years maybe less than five years but i could see it 500 dollars. so this could be this could be a fire sale for apple right now at 364 you really don't know we really don't know that's the best part but i'm just saying like i might have to buy some more apple right now because like they're they're killing it like they're they're also like you know you're born you're born today you know what apple is like you're not you're not getting past that regardless next up is general mills they handle a whole bunch of different stuff you guys know general mills one dollar 13 cents uh up overall and 0.41 shares nothing special here we'll buy more this is one of those stocks that actually stay about the same no matter if we're you know going up or going down the stock market so definitely something just to hold just to keep you steady so you don't lose a lot of money when you know stock market just drops so yeah Philip Morris is the same exact way. Overall, I got a dividend coming in for them at 16 cents. I only own 0.27 shares, so that's pretty solid for for just not owning basically anything. I still get 16 cents from it. That's pretty good, I personally think. And overall, down 81 cents with them, but I'm not really worried about that at all because it's, it's Philip Morris. Like same thing, they own tons of different products, so you can't really go wrong. Flower Foods, same thing goes. 1.1 shares overall down 49 cents with them. Dividend should be coming in soon. If not, I think I actually already got paid by them once. So we'll see how that, that goes. But hey, it is what it is so far. Johnson & Johnson, same thing goes. They own tons of stuff. Overall down $7.37. Definitely will be buying more of Johnson & Johnson. Almost have a single share. But yeah, nothing wrong with Johnson Johnson. I highly recommend rec i highly recommend buying johnson and johnson i hate saying johnson and johnson because i have to say johnson and johnson you know j and j you got it you get it we're good all right southwest some people don't believe in buying airlines right now because they probably won't really get back to normal for maybe about two to three years but i see no issue with that so i'll let them get back to normal and when they get back to normal they'll be up in the 40 50 range not a problem to me so i'll buy some regardless southwest overall up two dollars and 44 cent and i also think southwest is probably your best bet when you're buying airlines just simply because of how much money they have in the bank and they're just generally a good company i mean these other airlines are solid but you know not southwest southwest they're nice to the people you know let me know your southwest experience in the comment section i, I mean it's only been solid for me i haven't been on the plane that many times but hey 1.09 shares overall two dollars can't complain we'll be buying more not an issue there granger they own tons of stuff you guys know Granger, one dollar ninety-two cents overall up, and only have point one shares, so point ten or whatever, point one, point ten, however you want to say it. Abby, so this is like I guess Amazon, like an Amazon competitor. I don't really consider them an Amazon competitor, but a lot of people say to invest in Abby instead of investing in Amazon. I don't own any Amazon anyway, and Abby actually pays out a dividend, so I'm gonna go with Abby regardless and. Overall up $1.69, 0.23 shares. There's Abby yeah, for you right there. Delta Airlines, same thing goes. Don't really have too much experience with Delta, but I'm overall down 82 cents and only had 0.36 shares. Nothing crazy, so it really doesn't matter. Nothing there, but I probably end up buying more over time. NXP Semiconductors is one of those 5G stocks I was telling you about probably in last week's, or not last week's, last month's video. Nothing crazy there, but I definitely will be investing in this heavy going forward in the future. 
this and the other 5G stocks because 5G is coming. Be ready. I'm telling you, this is the great time. Regardless, overall up $2.56, cents, 0.38 shares. Nothing crazy there, but I do have a dividend coming for $0.05. Cents. So, yeah. Dover. Dover covers a whole bunch of different products. Same thing goes. $7.85 overall up. 1.22 shares. Nothing crazy there. Just going to keep pushing. Cincinnati Financial. I think this is a killer for me right now. Yes, it is up $21, about two shares. I got a dividend coming in for them. They're, they're, you know, this was a good buy. This was a good buy. It was recommended. I think I saw a video about it. I looked them up, did some research. This was a good buy for sure. So can't be mad about that at all. Colgate, you guys know them for the toothpaste, but they do a whole bunch of other stuff. 1.71 shares and overall up by about $6. So, you know, it is what it is. Procter and Gamble, same thing goes. And you can see the graphs are basically identical. And that says a lot because they're basically in the same field, but it's just wild how look like look at that. Like it's close. Like that's crazy, isn't it? Like, is that not crazy? But whatever. <laughs> Procter and Gamble, uh, same thing goes. They own tons of different products. They they they're in your household. You know. You don't you might not know because you might not see their name on their on your stuff, but they're they're there. Just look them up. Regardless, one share, a little bit over one share, overall up. Four dollars and eighty-seven cents, and yeah, Lowe's. You guys know Home Improvement is definitely a buy. Home Improvement, as far as Lowe's, Home Improvement, as far as Home Depot, both definitely buys because everyone's home right now, and the people that are home that have money or extra money to, you know, go ahead and do what they want to do, they're doing a lot of home improvement. So you know, they're spending a lot of money at Lowe's and at Home Depot and at whatever other hardware store that there there is. I'm trying to think because I don't know any off the top of my head besides those two but we're all up $18 I don't even have one whole share of it yet so that's a solid bet for me I'm not mad at all genuine parts they make car parts and you know people need to fix their cars because people aren't generally buying new cars if they don't have the money to buy those new cars so overall up $18 not $18 overall up $13 I'm just terrible with it today $13 and 1.42 shares, that's about it for genuine parts. And I also have a dividend coming in for them too, so can't complain off of that. 3M, 3M is the next up. 3M overall up $5.93, 0.75 shares, nothing crazy there. They handle the uh, the actual mass and whatnot. I mean, they make mass, but they do a whole bunch of adhesive. They essentially, they're, they, they, they make sticky stuff, you know what I'm saying? They they kill sticky stuff, like this is, this is, this is the brand for you. So, you know, need stuff that sticks, 3M, they got you. Regardless, they do a whole bunch of other stuff. They're just a great company. I, it's definitely a highly recommended for me. Tesla, they don't pay a dividend, but you know, I just want to be invested in Tesla. So every chance I get a little bit of money, I'll just toss in there for whatever reasons. Overall up $2 with them. I got in at $8, $870. You can see it's already up to a thousand. So imagine if I bought one share of Tesla at $870, then I would essentially have made about $200. That's insane. Literally insane. And that wouldn't have been that long ago because I just bought this maybe last month, last month, maybe a month and a half ago. So nothing crazy there but it's just tesla you know they go up and down so get in when you can get in but tesla is going to be here for a long time i feel like teradyne is also one of those 5g ones they also can make semiconductors and stuff and chips and whatnot for these other companies which you need for 5g overall up eight dollars with them have about half a share we'll be buying more there's no question there teradyne this is this is a this is a fire one this is a fire you should get in on this one i promise you chart industries Nothing really to see here. Two dollars sixty cents, a quarter of a share. That's about it. Nothing crazy. Target just got it on Target. I don't know if I got it on Target on this one or the last one, but regardless, I got it on Target because I think they they said they were increasing their dividends. So I was like, all right, well, I guess I can hop in if they're increasing their dividend dividends. Why not? Overall, up three cents with them. Don't really have that much to you know say anything about Target because I don't really own anything about Target. But you know, I like Target, so you know. Check them out, you know, hey. American Express, I believe this is the last one I got it on this month, June. You know, we're going into July now, and I'm overall down $1.30, but I definitely will be buying more. American Express, I see no issue with them, and I plan on getting one of their credit cards in the future, so I'll expect to be doing business with them in the future, so we'll see how things go, and that's about it for all the stocks I own, and that's how it is probably going to be for the most part for the month of July. It'll probably be a couple ads. If you want to know about the ads that I'm making, or the minuses that I'm getting rid of, just uh, message me, comment down below, anything you want to do, and I'll let you know. It's just that simple. Let's go over real quick and check my settings so I can see all the dividends I've had over the past uh, month or so. And then the ones pending, you can see right here. Let me click on this one. So yeah, the ones pending, you can see right here. So we got the ones pending for the end of June, which is today. 
and some in July. This aren't these aren't all the dividends I'll be getting in July because they're still pending, and some more might pop up or get announced or whatever. But these are some of the ones, and that is from SPHD, Coca Cola, Genuine Parts, N. XPI, which is NXP Semiconductors. We got Philip Morris, Cincinnati Financial, and oh man, I'm trying to I'm trying to remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, 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 this is the this is the Alabama Real Estate Medical Properties Trust, Alabama Real Estate. So all those still coming in, they're all pending, but these are all the ones I've been paid. Some of them I've been paid straight out to my account, and other ones I get simply reinvested, so they go back into my account and they just pay for themselves that's all it really kind of does so you put more money in you make more money you put more money in you make more money this does it automatically for you because dividends are great and robin hood got you covered so that's literally it you can see all the dividends i've gotten so far so far i've been paid about 21 dollars in dividends since i've been start since i've started this which is about it's been about three and a half months so that's pretty solid i'm i'm, I'm expecting to make a hundred a little bit over a hundred dollars in dividends by the end of the year or within a year so we're only gonna go up i mean it's not gonna go down so we're only gonna go up so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit it with a like button if you want to see more of these videos robin hood videos make sure you hit it with a like button let me know down in the comment section below anything like that personal finance you can check out the whole channel for that if you have any personal finance questions regarding investing maybe it's regarding saving maybe it's regarding credit cards credit in general anything like that or just life questions you know because i make videos about that too on the occasion or i just answer questions about that on the occasion just let me know so that's kind of it. I'm out. Dollar Mike. Peace.